What's up Madden 25 fans, welcome to today's video and today we're going over our concept of the week series. Uh, in this week's video we're talking about the Texas passing concept. Now this is a concept that is uh, made famous by Bill Walsh, uh, head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, one of the greatest coaches of all time. And what we're looking at today is is a way that we can make this concept just a little bit better uh, in Madden. So the, the original play comes out of the split back set, also it can come out of any two back set. We're going to actually show you this out of the split and then we're going to show it to you out of like a shotgun type set that you can make it a little bit better. So here's the play out of this set and this is a play that is designed to be like a cover two kind of defense. And so here we see the two high safeties and John, uh, and Coon comes underneath under, uh, under the cover two. And the idea is that the streak from Finley is going to stretch that cover two hook zone deep. And here we'll show it to you one more time. You see that Finley stretches that hook zone deep and we can uh, open up some space for that fullback to come underneath and make a nice little easy catch. Now this is designed to also beat man-to-man -man coverage. You see this cut to the fullback does a nice job at beating man. Uh, so any too high look, this is actually a nice little play. Um, but one thing that I don't really kind of like about this is the fact that this play is under a, a set that most of us wouldn't typically use. Most of us like to use shotgun spread, shotgun tight, different formations like that. And, uh, you know, today we're going to show you how to do the same kind of play out of a shotgun spread or a shotgun tight or anything like that. So the play we're going to use is curl flats. And this is one of my favorite plays. But we're going to create Texas manually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Boyk and we're going to put him on that streak. And he's going to act as that kind of uh, hold route for the back. Now another thing that we can do with this is we can maybe take uh, James Jones here, place him on a drag and create a little uh, makeshift mesh, mesh pattern. We could take Jordy Nelson, put him on a smart routed out route. And you see that that's going to turn this into a basic curl flat concept. And then we could take Randall Cobb and maybe streak him up the field for a user catch option. Or, uh, you know, just place him on some type of like a deep end or something like that, some kind of a dig route. And you'll see that this play works just a little bit better because it gives us a lot more opportunities to beat man coverage. Here you see we're able to fit that uh, route into Eddie Lacy coming across. Um, you know the, the formation here and we're still running the basic concept of Texas and we should still be able to beat man with Eddie Lacy's route now here we're going to show you uh, this against like a cover two sink and this is where this really comes in handy um, so against a cover two sink we set up our hot routes this is what the play will look like we bring Jones in on a little motion snap and you see that that uh, deep uh, streak there is going to will hold that yellow zone just like it did in the previous play. So watch this. You see that this guy's on a deep streak. Watch what happens with this middle linebacker. You see he's going to drop deeper because James, uh, Boykin is on that deep streak. So this is just one example of how we can make the Texas concept uh, just a little bit better, maybe make it even a little bit more usable. Another option we can do uh, with this play is create a makeshift type of levels concept. And so we can take Boykin and place him on a smart routed in route, Nelson on a, a five yard in route, put Randall Cobb on a smart routed out route, and then take James Jones and bring him on that same motion but leave him on this flat route. Now you see now we're making a little bit more uh, underneath passing but you see it's still the concept still remains the same. You're still stretching that middle linebacker. So while it may not look exactly like the levels concept, while it may not actually function, uh, you know, exactly 100% like the levels con or the Texas concept, it still, you know, it still beats the same type of defenses just in different ways, and different routes can actually serve different purposes. For example, in Madden, an in route is much better than like a streak route. Typically, now not 100% of the time, but typically that is. Now here we're going to look at. Um, if I can get my controller back to uh, work in here, we're going to look at a cover three. Okay, so we're just going to pass commit out of the car, cover three here. And now you see that this concept, this Texas concept, is still going to be open. It's still going to get that like, nice little stretching uh, option here. But what's actually even more open, and we're going to show you this uh, in just a moment after we show you this replay, but basically. You see that, that that stretch right here, so this guy right here, Boykin stretches that hook zone, we're able to come underneath it. So the concept basically works. Now I want to show you why this play is not that much different than the actual Texas concept and play that we saw earlier. You see that they have this Texas play, okay, so it's the same basic play we were just looking at. And you see they're going to swing out Eddie Lacy, and we're going to have a streak on that side, and they're going to have a curl. 
Okay, so they have a curl on the side that Kuhn is on. Well, what we're doing is this. We're basically doing the same thing. We're just going to put Nelson on the in route and put Cobb on like a smart routed out route. And this is basically the same play. It just gives us another option against cover three. Now, what I believe, you know, and let's take a look here if I make sure I'm correct. But if I'm if I'm thinking correctly, typically, Bill, you know, they're trying to be able to be man and zone in cover three and cover two in the same play. So that that's the purpose of the curl route, but I don't quite understand why there's no flat route. And I think it's just because the way that the formation is sp spaced out, while now we're in the spread formation, it gives us a little bit more options. Obviously, you know, this isn't a you know, bulletproof play or money play or any of that. But this is just another option at which we can run the same type of concept. Another thing that we might consider doing is maybe placing Jordy Nelson on that little curl to create spacing wall, and this is basically the same play now. The only thing that we don't have on this play is the, is the two streaks, and we just turn them into out routes and in routes. So just a lot that you could do. I just wanted to get your minds thinking. Let me know what you think in the comments below about kind of what I'm doing with this play here. If you like it, if you don't like it, if it's you know if it's a little bit too non-sim, if you will, for you, let me know what you think. I'm just trying to provide more and more content, and I'm trying to get you guys thinking conceptually as opposed to only thinking, oh, I have to run the Texas concept that actually says the play Texas. I want you guys to start thinking outside of the box, creating your own Texas concepts, creating your own inverted levels and levels and shallow cross and all that. And uh, hopefully this series, we can get it back going and get it back on a weekly basis. Guys, we'll be back next week um, at 2, or excuse me, at 4.30 Eastern time uh, to bring to you another concept of the week. Next week's concept, uh, we'll be talking about, uh, you know, inside and outside zones. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that.